بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحباب الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم says وما خلقت الجن والإنس اللي يعبدون I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping him. Meaning all of this beauty, all of this beautiful creation was created by Allah, <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we give praise and we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's not to our efforts. The credit doesn't go to us, but it goes to Allah I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. All of this beauty, all of this creation is here so that way we would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the only way that we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly is by adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. And that the two conditions for us to have our deeds accepted, ayyul ahbab, is that we have sincerity to Allah, ikhlas, and we have thabat, we have that we adhere to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that will give us success in this life as well as the hereafter. And that is how we should remind ourselves and remind one another about who we are in relation to this creation. That we have a responsibility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed us here as vicegerents on this earth to care for it and use it to worship Him and Him alone. So we have to remind ourselves constantly. And I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us a reminder for myself and for my brothers and sisters to practice Islam and spread Islam. The true submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that peacefulness and sakina that you'll receive in the heart by practicing your Islam. May Allah bless us all with that, with strong Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.